What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video and today we have Boulder Supply & Co again on the channel. This is their dive watch. It is the Odyssey Dark in Meteorite. And this is a very big, very bold dive watch, uh, no pun intended. And it comes in really nice packaging, just like the other boulders that I've had on the uh, channel. This comes in a waterproof box with a moisture indicator here on the side. It has a double latch enclosure, which is really, really uh, tough and well made. Uh, these boxes alone sell for like $50 on their own. Uh, inside you get the same information, just a, a booklet. There's a little uh, microfiber cloth under here as well. And as I mentioned, this is the Dark Meteorite. It has an absolutely gorgeous style. It doesn't actually look like Meteorite immediately. When you look at it closely though, you could definitely see that this is a Meteorite dial. You have just a little bit of color on this watch, so it's all sort of a gray tone, even the actual case itself is sort of like brushed and bead blasted. There's not a lot of polishing or any polishing on it at all. Just a little bit of color on the uh, tip of the second hand and that is it. I really actually like the aesthetic of this watch and uh, I, I was very, very impressed when I first opened up the box. It's the case. The case is so angular um, and it just looks really good in different lighting. As you move it around, it actually does play with the light really well for a, a matte finished case. Now this is a large watch. There's no really getting around that. This is a 45 millimeter watch and it does wear every bit of that 45 millimeters because you have these big crown guards and then it does have a large lug to lug, 52 millimeters, but it's actually a little bit bigger than that because you have these male end links. So it's 52 millimeters from here, but it's almost 60 millimeters if you include those male end links. So this is not for a person with a small wrist. You could just see the crown alone. Look how big that crown, grippy and easy to use. Uh, everything feels really nice on this watch. Everything is nicely finished. The bracelet is super robust, very, very big, sort of like an oyster style bracelet. A very typical buckle on here. So the buckle is probably the most typical thing that you would see on here from a micro brand. Uh, plenty of micro adjust as you can see. But like I said, most micro brands use this sort of buckle. It's nice, it's signed bolder. It's very, very nice and you have a lot of micro adjust. Um, it makes sense and it's definitely a reliable buckle. You get a sapphire insert in here and it is 16 millimeters thick by the way. So it's about 16 millimeters thick including that domed uh, sapphire crystal. So it is on the thicker side but you do get 500 meters of water resistance. Uh, I just wanted to mention that before I get into the bezel. The bezel itself is like a gray color and it is a sapphire bezel. So that's really the only point on this watch that's just a little bit flashy and I like it. It looks really, really good and I believe it is also a loom. We're gonna do a loom shot at the end. As I mentioned, this is the dark meteorite. So they actually darken this meteorite, uh, which they use for the dial and it actually makes it a little understated compared to other meteorite dials that you see. And I kind of like it. So if you don't like the way that meteorite is a little bit silvery and bright, this is actually darkened just a little bit. It's like three shades darker. So it gives it the effect of almost like a gray dial, but when you look a little bit closer, you notice that it's actually a meteorite dial. Applied indices, everything is loomed. The hands are loomed, uh, all the hands are loomed, and those applied indices are loomed. So obviously we will do a loom shed at the end. The bezel action is excellent on this watch. It's very, very thick, very grippy, very easy to grip. I have dry hands and it's very easy for me to grip this and just turn it. So 120 click bezel, sounds great and feels awesome. Uh, goes really well with the case as well. They've sort of notched it out really, really big, very big knurling on here. Makes sense, they did the same thing with the crown. This is a bold watch and, and it's you know no pun intended obviously, but it is a bold watch and they've made it, uh, the design is very bold, so it looks really good. You have a uh, uh, easy, uh, quick release on here on the on the bracelet, so if you wanna put it on a strap. Uh, beautifully uh, embossed case back, not a rough edge. I'll do close-ups of that. There's sort of like a trident with what I think is a uh, octopus on here, but it's actually sort of artistic. It's angular and, and weird. Looks good, uh, I, I really like it, and it feels really nice uh, and finished very, very well. 
Uh, just in general, I really like this watch. Helium escape valve, by the way, as well. So saturation diver, because you get 500 meters of water resistance. Has a date at the six o'clock, which replaces the uh, indice at six o'clock. It is color matched. Uh, there's like a half indice there. It works. I think it looks good. Uh, probably could have went uh, without the uh, date here. It doesn't make a difference to me. Miyota 9015 in this watch uh, with the date there at six o'clock. I also like the integration that they did with the uh, actual bracelet into the case itself. I think everything works really, really well on here. It is big. So if you are a small guy, this is not gonna work for you. They do make a free diver version, which is 40 millimeters, and I think that will wear probably like a 41 or 42. This is a 45, I think it wears like a 46, 47. Uh, depending on your wrist, that may not work. So I'll show it to you on my wrist. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. I think I could pull it off, but it's on the borderline for me. Boulder makes some pretty awesome watches, and one of the coolest watches that I've seen them come out with recently was a chronograph version in this case, and it was a regatta timer. So it's basically a yacht timer that they made in this case with a Valjoux 7, I believe it was a Valjoux 7750, an automatic chronograph uh, in this case, and it was a pretty good price too. I was really excited when I saw that, and I think they already sold out. I wanted to give them a shout out because when that when I saw that, that was pretty awesome uh, and really creative, actually. I haven't seen another micro brand really come out with a regatta timer. That's pretty damn cool. An automatic regatta timer, too. Uh, very, very cool. Anyway, uh, today I am wearing my Eterna. This is a 44 millimeter watch for your reference. Um, and you're going to see that this watch wears way bigger, not one millimeter bigger, but way bigger than this watch on my wrist. And this watch wears bigger, too. So this wears like a 45 millimeter. Um, because it does have a very long lug span. It's like a, four, a 57 millimeter lug span or something like that on here. It's pretty long. Uh, this is the Eterna Contiki and it's powered by a Salita SW200. So very quickly, I have not sized this for my wrist. Um, and there it is. I mean, you could see it doesn't wear terribly. I mean, the lug to lug just barely makes it on my wrist. Uh, but it does, and I have a seven and a half inch wrist, as I mentioned. Uh, they make a very similar watch, and that's the Free Diver, I believe it's called, uh, in 40 millimeters. I would probably go for that one. The 45 is just a little bit too big for me. I think I could pull it off, but I would prefer the uh, 40 millimeter. I think I would be more comfortable with it. Um, but either way, this is a really cool watch, and I think that it's really well made. And uh, I, I really like the uh, design elements that they've gone with with Boulder. It's very distinctive. They have a very distinctive look. You immediately know that it's a Boulder. Uh, and this watch costs $799. So it's not a cheap watch. It's $800. Uh, but considering it is a meteorite dial, sapphire bezel, um, and a Miyota 9015, you get that really nice packaging. It's actually not a bad price, but they do offer discounts quite often. Uh, sometimes up to 20% off, sometimes even more than that I've seen. Uh, but they give you 10% off if you sign up with your email address. So this comes down to around $700 if you get that, just over $700. And then if it's uh, the 20% off, obviously you're getting that under $700 easily, um, which is really, really good for this watch. Um, and it definitely is a little bit nicer than most of the micro brand divers that I have had on the channel. I think they do a little bit more. Uh, than some others. Uh, and uh, like I said, I would definitely go for the 40 millimeter. The 40 millimeter, I think, is actually priced very similarly to this. Um, so that would definitely fit a little bit better. But very, very good looking, uh, very good looking watch. Uh, very quickly, let's do a loom shot because uh, Boulder do good with loom. And I'm sure that this has really good loom on it. Uh, it's just a, a very substantial watch to hold in your hand. It's very, uh, it's very nice when you hold it in your hand, you realize uh, it's just very, very heavy. Uh, so very quickly, loom shot, and then we'll wrap up the video. Well, they put a lot of loom on here. There is, the entire bezel is loomed. Even the minute track on the bezel is loomed. Um, and then the indices very liberally applied with loom. Of course, the hands have a, a liberal amount of loom. Even the second hand, uh, very bright, looks really good. Um, and I am impressed. I've been impressed with their watches for quite some time. Um, and I think that they make a very, very good micro brand. They're one of those brands that are getting to the point where they're becoming a major brand. Um, they have a lot of watches that they offer and now they're making automatic chronographs and things like that, uh, dipping their toe into sort of higher end watchmaking, which is pretty cool. 
This is a very well-made watch, and you can see the loom is hanging on pretty good. Uh, so they've paid attention to the details, which I always like. But tell me what you guys think of this watch in the comments below. I really want to hear from you guys. I'm actually going to be sending this off to, I believe, Rock the Watch. This was lent into the channel. I don't know if I mentioned that, but uh, this was lent into the channel. So uh, I'm going to be sending it off to another reviewer. I believe Rock the Watch will be getting it next. Uh, I have to check with them and I have to check with uh, Rock the Watch, but I believe he will be getting it next So you could definitely check him out uh, and see what he thinks of it as well uh, But like I said, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys Please also don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watch Chris blog I have some links in the description those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.